Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how you can take your regular avatar just like mine and you can add so many accessories. I'm going to explain to you why you want to know this feature and how you can use it in Roblox Studio and beyond in other ways. So stay tuned and I will show you how you can go from this to this without paying any Robux at all and I can use it in all sorts of ways. So be sure to hit the like button if you enjoy these kinds of videos and subscribe to my channel with notifications turned to all. And I'm going to teach you all kinds of great, easy step-by-step -step tutorials on how you can improve your time in Roblox Studio and learn how to do things like GFX. So I have my starter character here, and if you don't remember exactly how to put a starter character into the game, please be sure to refer to my other video on how to spawn a custom character in Roblox Studio. It will show you how to get the plugin Easy Insert, which is right up here, and it will also explain to you how you make it so that you can play as any custom character. Right now, I have starter character, and what I want to do is I want to add some features. I want to have some fun in the game, right? So I'm just just going to type in the code ID that you find in Roblox. All items, all accessories have numbers to them. So you take that number and you hit insert. We are going to show you what I got first. So the first item I'm going to add is the pink instant camera and I absolutely love this accessory. I'm just going to go right here. You see these numbers and you take those numbers and you put them into the game. We come back to studio. We make sure the starter character is clicked on. We type in the number. I've already done so here and we click insert and there's the camera on the person, right? On my starter character. And I didn't pay any Robux for it. Let's move the starter character now to starter player area. Of course, she will vanish. Notice everything vanished. And that means that the camera was properly attached. It should show up here. If it doesn't, then you've just added it to the game and not to the person. So that's important. Let's go hit play and let's check it out. Let's see if it works. Okay, here she is. Yay, there I am. I have my camera and I'm ready to take some pictures in the little park here and get myself some coffee, right? But you know what? Maybe I want to do some other things. Maybe I want more than one accessory. So let's go ahead and leave and I'm going to show you, you can add more. As you see here, they're all listed at the top. We're about ready to go into this cute little cafe. And so let's go ahead and add a cat cup. Uh, made by simply a lemon. Let me add in the numbers now. Here are the numbers, hit insert, and the cat cup is on. Now I can't see myself, so in order to make sure that it actually worked, I probably should move myself up here into the game. I see that it's on, so is the camera, everything is in place. So now I can move it back to starter player and it works fine. If you don't care about that, it's it doesn't matter. You don't have to see yourself, but that way you can double check. Let's go hit play and let's see how it looks now. And there I am, yay! I've got all my stuff. I can head on over here to the Sweet Treats Cafe and have a wonderful time and do all kinds of great things in the game. So that's how it works guys and it's really helpful for when you're adding things to a game but even more so for our purposes we're wanting to do things for GFX which is what all these videos will eventually lead up to. So if you're looking to make GFXs, you're gonna have to know how to do these things. And let's say you want something else, you want even more accessories. I mean, the limit is pretty endless. I mean, you can't have five backpacks on at the same time, but let's go ahead and add a backpack, hit insert, and there we go. You can't see it on me because of my hair, but you can see the front part. 
So now you can have a whole new look, pay no Robux whatsoever, and then you can make GFXs with all of these amazing accessories on. So if you've enjoyed this video, please be sure that you hit the like button and any questions that you have, comments, please provide them. I'll be happy to answer them and help you out with your endeavors as you are increasing your knowledge in Roblox Studio as well as making GFXs. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.